Okay, section 4.4, investment problem. Okay, this section is related to the investment. And there are only a few questions here. Uh, the definition is really simple. Okay, let's say you are investing your money into some uh, uh, account, some fund or whatever. So for the investment, the, inter the interest amount, the interest you earned in certain uh, years or certain number of periods is this one. I is equal to PRT. So I means interest you earned. And the P is the invested amount, the initial amount, the principal, we call it principal. And R is the rate, annual rate. So this is a simple interest rate. So R is the annual simple interest rate. Uh, uh, there is a compound interest rate, but compound, we are not dealing with compound, only simple interest rate. And T is the number of years that you invested. So the amount, you, the interest amount you earned is principal, the investment amount times annual rate times the number of years you invested. Very simple. So don't forget this. You know, PRT, like, a, you know, printer, printer, you know, the, the abbreviation is what? Printer, PRT. So interest is PRT. Okay, it's not a difficult formula because, you know, just uh, in real life, let's say, you know, you have $1,000 and then you, you just put in an account, your bank account, and the bank will give you, let's say, 1% a year, 1% per year. Uh, okay, one percent little small. Okay, so you invested, you deposited one thousand. After one year, how much your interest? One percent. So it will be ten dollars, right? So if you deposit for two years, then the interest ten dollars times two. So every year you get ten dollars interest. So if you deposit for two years, then ten times two is twenty. If you deposit for ten years, then ten times ten is one hundred dollars, right? It's pretty simple. So PRT, the interest is PRT. So let's, okay, R and T is based on annual, annual, R is the annual rate, T is the number of years. If, uh, if month is given, like a six month, then six month is actually, you know, half year, right? half year. So T will be one over two. If you invest it for a quarter, your know, quarter is, Three months, right? Three months. Then three months is equivalent to what? One, one fourth, right? One fourth year. So T will be one fourth. So R and T is based on the number of years. Okay, so let's try an example one. Okay, please read the question now. Okay. Okay, this question is um, investment counselors. And this counselor is investing a money into two different funds. One is money market. Money market fund. And this money market will give you 9% annual simple interest rate. Okay, 9%. The rate is 9%. Annual rate. Okay, the second market is this one. Second uh, account is government security. Government security will give you 6% annual simple interest. So 75%, 75% of a client money will be invested in 9% uh, annual simple interest rate market fund. And the other amount is 25%, isn't it? So 25% will go into 6%. So let me draw a little diagram. You know, drawing a diagram is easier to understand. So. A client's money is, I don't know what the client's money is, so let's say it is X dollars. X dollars. So look at this. The question is, find the amount invested in each account if the total annual interest earned is $3,300. So X is the client's money, and then the counselor will divide it into two amounts. One is 75%. So this is the 75% of the total, right? Total. Then the rest is 25% of X, isn't it? So let's say if, 
if the client invested $100, then 75%, right? 75% of 100 is $75. So $75 will be invested in the market fund. This is the market fund, right? This is the market fund. Then 25%. This one is the government security. Security. All right. So 25%. So 25% is X minus 75. X minus 75 is 25%. So actual amount. So this is equal to. So actually this one is equal to. 75% of X means 0.75X, right? And the rest is 25%, so 0.25X. So this is the amount invested in each fund. All right, and then the money market fund will give you what is the rate. So this is the, uh, this is principal, right? Principal. So this is the principal. And the rate, what is the rate for this uh, for this market fund? 9%. So 0 0.09 is the rate. And for how many years? Uh, this one is one year, right? annual. You say total annual interest, right? Total annual interest. So that, is, that means the number of years invested was one year. Okay. So even, even the government secret is same. The principal is 25% X. The rate is this time 6%. 6% is 0 0.06, right? And number of years is same. So one year. All right. So from this information, let's find X so that we can find the amount invested in the market fund, which is 75% of X. So let's find X. And the uh, total interest is $3,300. This is total interest, right? Total interest. So can I write it like this? The total, total interest is the sum of the interest from the market fund and the government security, right? So this is the interest interest from money market i'm the market I'm sorry market fund plus interest from the government security from the government security right does it make sense okay we want to use the information given so total in total annual interest so the, the the total interest is 3300 so we can write it as this the total interest is what 3300 right and then interest what's the interest formula interest formula is interest formula is prt right p r t so why don't we use all this information for the from the market fund so from the market fund, the interest, the principal is 0.75x, right? And then what is the rate? 0.09, right? And then what's the number of years? Just one year because this is annual interest earned. Okay, so this is equal to the same thing. So this interest, this interest is from the government security. So we will use the information from the government security, right? So the principal of the government security is 0.25x, 25% of x. And the rate is 0.06, you know, 6%, and number of years is 1. So this is the equation. So from this, from this equation, we can solve for x first. So x, you know, there's only one variable x. So let's solve for x. Uh, you might need a calculator because we are the number is really uh, complicated so 0 0.75 times 0 0.09 okay then there will be 0. Uh, 0675 0675x plus 
get the interest from the government security is 0 0.25 times 0 0.06 so that is 0 0.015x right okay so from here let's add up to variable terms so 0 0.067825x right so now divide each side by divide each side by 0 0.025 and then x is equal to okay let's use the full step so i will divide both sides by 0 0.025 0 0.0825 both sides by 0 0.0825 then use the calculator then this will give you 40,000 but you know the rest is the calculations 40,000 so x the total investment is $40,000 okay the total invested amount is $40,000 so you are investing $40,000 and this for uh, amount from this $40,000 75 of 75 percent of $40,000 will be uh, invested in this market fund and 25 percent of 40,000 will be invested in the government security right so from here uh, the amount the interest uh, the amount amount in the market fund okay invested in the market fund is what that is 75 percent 75 percent of x right the total investment so that is 0 0.75 x what is x four thousand forty thousand dollars right forty thousand dollars so this is uh three-fourths so that is thirty thousand dollars isn't it so 75 percent of forty thousand dollars is thirty thousand dollars so thirty thousand dollars is invested in the money market fund i'm sorry market fund and then the amount the amount invested right invest okay, let me write invested invested in the government security government security is this is security twenty five percent of x so zero point two five of forty thousand is just one thousand ten thousand dollars so ten thousand dollars seventy five percent is actually the government security the investment in the government security is forty thousand minus thirty thousand so that is ten thousand okay, or or the rest right the rest amount is the in the amount in the government security so this is forty thousand minus thirty thousand so that is ten thousand same thing right same thing Okay, so what we did is, by reading the question, we collect all the information that's related to I equals PRT, interest. So there are four, four variables, I, PRT, I, PRT. So collect all the terms and use this formula, I equals PRT, write an equation like this. Okay, let's try problem number one. Okay, problem number one, please read and then understand the question. Okay, so problem one is this. Okay, an investment of $18,000. So this is total amount. This amount is divided into two different accounts. So the, okay, on one account, the annual simple interest is 4%. And the other account, on the other account, the annual simple interest is 6%. So let's check, let, let's try the similar uh, diagram. Draw the similar diagram. So this person has eighteen thousand dollars and this will be this amount will be divided into two amount so okay, let's say this is the uh, account account a 
account A. And the second part is the account B. Okay. So $18,000 is divided, divided into two amounts. So the account A will give 4% interest rate. The R is 4%, which is 0 0.04. And the, for the, from the account B, we can write the interest, simple interest rate is 6%, which is 0 0.06. Okay. And then, okay, how much should be invested in each account so that each account earns the same interest? So once you put some amount in account A, it will give you an interest. So let's say the interest A. Right, interest rate. Uh, before we do this, let's say the principal. Okay, the the um, the amount invested in bank A, the amount invested in bank A is the principal, right? Principal is an X. Let's say it's X dollars. X dollars. Then the interest, I mean the the amount invested in bank B is what? You know, we already used up X dollars out of eighteen thousand. So the amount in bank B is total minus X, isn't it? Total minus X. Can you see it? The total amount is $18,000 and X dollars are invested in bank A. Invest in bank A. So what we have is $18,000 minus X. So this is the principle. Okay, can you, can you see it? This is really important part. Important. Total minus what? Total amount, invested amount, minus amount in account A. Amount in account A. Make sense? Okay. All right, then the question is, you know, they have the same interest. So bank A will give the, the interest uh, you earn from bank A should be equal to the interest you earned from account B. Can you see it? So the interest, let's say the interest A is equal to interest B. So this means interest, uh, uh, interest earned from bank A. Interest earned from bank B is equal. This is given. Okay, how, all right, then how about the period? In, in this case, the period doesn't matter. You know, it, it didn't mention any period, but you know this the number of years is actually doesn't matter. So let's make it one or it doesn't matter any anyway, anyway it doesn't matter. Because you know the interest interest formula, what's the interest formula? The interest formula is equal to PRT, right? PRT. So let's write an interest each interest for bank A and bank B. So the interest for bank A is PRT, right? So principal is X dollars. The rate is 0 0.04. How many years? Let's say one year. So this one should be equal to the interest from the bank B is, I mean the principal is $18,000 minus X. And then R is 0 0.06. Number of years is one. Now the reason that I mentioned that uh, the, the number of years it doesn't matter is, you know, if it's one, one, right, two, then you write here 2, 2, and the, this 2, to cancel out. 3, 3, then also 3, 3, cancel out, right? So the number of years is, in this case, it doesn't affect. So from this, we need to find x. Okay, we, we got to find x. Then x is the amount, x is the amount invested in bank A, right? Bank A. So we can find the amount invested in bank B once we find x. Okay. So let's solve for x. So this is 0.04x. The right side is distribute. So 18,000 times 0 0.06. 18,000 times 0 0.06. So that would be 1,080 minus 0 0.06x. Okay, let's solve for x. x is separated. So we will collect all the x terms. So why don't we move minus 0.06x from the right to the left. So plus each side. 
Okay, then this is 1x, so 1x means just x. Uh, sorry, not 1, 0.1, right? 0 0.1x equals 1080. And divide each side by, uh, by 0, 1. We have this, right? So x is equal to, put one more zero, so $10,800. So this is the amount. So this is uh, $10,800 is the amount invested in the bank A. So this is the amount invested into account A. Right? So we found one. Okay, then how about the, then what's the amount? Amount invested into account B. Okay, then this should be equal to what? The total, the total minus X, right? Total minus X. Look at this. Here. So this amount, this amount, this amount is the total. The total minus X. The total minus X is the amount deposited in account B, invested. All right, so that is 18,000 minus 10,800, then 1,000, sorry, $7,200. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, so there are only two questions in this section. They are all dealing with the uh, interest formula. Interest is equal to PRT. Now, annual interest, annual simple interest. Annual simple interest. So that is PRT. So don't forget PRT. PRT. Okay.